Welcome back, everyone. Uh, Sand Serpent is ready to go. I starved him for a good bit to get him in here. And now it is the crocodile's turn. So I'm going to see if I can get him in without the Sand Serpent getting out. I'm going to go ahead and pop this gate open as well just to kind of create a... create a false positive over here. To be like, hey, look at all this stuff. Because I don't want the Sand Serpent to escape. Oh, yep. Okay, come on. You get in there first, buddy. There we go. Okay, oh, is the first fight gonna be in here? Nope. Okay, good. Alright, and I'll close that gate, open this one. Alright, excellent. Oh, yeah, the Sand Serpent is ready to go. He says, let's fight in the croc. The crocodile is just like, I want this over with because I'm hungry. He has a hangry going on. So let's see if he can defend his title. Oop. Two nips in. While they circle, I'm going to go ahead and close this gate. Oh, there goes the croc. Crocodile's not having it today. Two for two. Who screams at who and separates? Crocodile. He says, I beat two of y'all. Get out of my face. And now he's probably going to go and eat because I know he's super hungry. What is going on with your tail? What was... What is all of that? Oh. Okay, lever tail then. Are you actually going to eat the food? Because I know that you're hungry, go eat the food. Any snaps and snarls? Nope. Okay, so we have the first pass. While they're at it, I'm going to go ahead and start making um, the alligator hungry so that he will <coughs> come over to whatever pen uh, is open once this is decided. So far, the Owl Around is playing a lot like the Spine Around. We've got one that's just going at it the whole way. Um, but we've still got, including the, including the Sand Serpent, we still have two more Owls to get through. So we'll see if the Crocodile can be the first out of the species matchups to be the champion of his species from jump. We're just going to have to see if, see if that even works. That would be nice if it did, because it would be fun to have... Um, it'd be fun to have a dinosaur with that kind of combat infamy uh, in the um, go going into the multi-species round. Alright, so they've both fed. I'll go ahead and close this. Go ahead and activate the ones that are in their respective pens so that when that comes back around... Whoever is the champion will be drawn to their pen, and whoever is the challenger will be drawn to that pen. Or rather, I should say the alligator will be drawn to that pen. I, l I would like to see a fight between the crocodile and the alligator, just because it's kind of fun. With the, t with the two names representing the two species. <coughs> so, I would certainly like that. Oh, are we having another? Yep, we're having another square off. We are ready to go. Let's go. Chomp. Weirdly happy music. What is up with these aloes just having little spastic movements in here? Twitch. Flick. Sand Serpent says I won't go down so easily. What is your combat at for me at? 247. <laughs> I like the way the head just sways when they turn. Sansa Serpent is watching him like, what are you even doing? And there's the twitch again. So weird that the aloes have all these little twitches and ticks. I do really like their models though. Like, these guys look cool. It's fun, streamlined dinosaurs. Not like the Gigas. The Gigas, I'll be honest, the Gigas are ugly. <laughs> but we'll get to we'll get to them when we get to them. Um, yeah, we're probably not going to get to them until 
um, the Black Mamba gets to go up for his fight. Because by then we'll have all the Gigas in their respective pens. You can already see I've got uh, a few of them in there. How hungry? I want to see how hungry the alligator is real quick. Uh, he'll he'll be he should be okay during for the duration of the fight. I don't know if he'll be okay for the duration of the fight and the recovery of whoever wins this one. So I might let him eat and then just let the game run for a bit to get them both hungry again once the winner of this fight is full. Um, well, full and healed, rather healed specifically. But yeah, we'll just we'll just see how that plays out. I just wanted to get him ready to, ready and motivated to move to his next pen. That's why his food's off. And that corner is absolutely fascinating. Okay, so we'll come back when they're ready to square off again. Alright, that didn't take long. More happy music for the fight. Crocodile is still keen on defending his title. the knees on these dinosaurs. Alright, let's see. We're at 12 and 12. So we're getting closer to that final round. So we'll just have to see, uh... See, and once again, watching his opponent just like, what are you doing? There's nowhere to go. I wonder if the sand serpent is trying to psych out the crocodile. But yeah, I'll, we'll, we'll come back for the next for the next bout. I must ask why there are two doors when only one is being used. I think we're about to square off again. Yep. That was awkward. Alright, who is going to win this fight? Crocodile's not giving up yet. There's the sand serpent. Crocodile says, you don't intimidate me. And we. When you first get up in the morning and you really need a cup of coffee. Oh, we're ready for another face-off. Can the crocodile keep his title? So far, it looks like it. <laughs> Sand Serpent is like, oh, you've got some terrible breath. And we're ready to go again. Who will it be? Oh, and it looks like the crocodile will be defending his title. That still looks awkward. All right then. All right, I did ultimately wind up having to feed them because they were their hunger was just starting to get a little bit low. But I think the crocodile is the only one that actually ate. Okay, so now I can oops, open this gate and let uh, let the alligator in. So it looks like we're going to get to see the crocodile versus the alligator. I am pleased by this. So far, the crocodile is living up to Big Red's reputation. So with any luck... He'll be the first of our dinosaur um, species-specific lineups to take the trophy all the way home. But he still has to get through the alligator and the black mamba. Yeah, the hard part is now that he's been fed is convincing him to go back into his pen. <laughs> but yeah, making, making the alligator as hungry as we did, he's already interested in trying to find that food. He'll probably... Well, I guess he's going to mosey down here, but still... Point being, he's going to go in there and get some food. 
All right. Well, that gets done. We'll continue to set up for the Giga round since that's next. <coughs> okay. I need you to drink the water that's over here, buddy. If I was, wasn't concerned about the brush just kind of getting in the way of the fences, I would get rid of the water just to help further encourage him to get over there and then put the water back when he got in. But that's usually not how things go, so... <coughs> how is your hunger level? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of... Well, I will deactiv I'll de deactivate the, croc the crocodile's food when uh, once he's in his pen. Yeah, because the alligator's coming in, I'm going to go ahead and let him eat because he's been hungry for a while. Yeah, like, we let that go pretty good. He wouldn't make it until the crocodile was fully recovered. So we're going to let the crocodile get back in here. I'll deactivate, hi deactivate his feeder to get him hungry. Uh, and then we'll let some time pass so they're both hungry and encouraged to go into this area. And then we'll get the second to last round of aloes going. <coughs> Come on. Get in your pen. Get in the pen. Get in the pen. You know you want to. Nope, he does not know that he wants to. This wall is fascinating. Is he sticking his face through it? No, not yet. I think we got a nose. Yep, we got we got a nose. We got a dino nose. <laughs> All right, did you get your food? Yeah, you got your food. Okay, so we'll go ahead and kill you. We'll go ahead and kill your feeder now. Start getting y'all both hungry at about the same rate. Because this way he should he should go ahead and start healing. He's already past the red. And then we'll, uh, while he heals, we'll get that set up so that they're both hungry and ready to come back here and start fighting again. There we go. No, 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 no. I want the gate. There we go. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Oh, pfft, I see our Giga is doing a stupid that, or I think I just left the... I left, I left his gate open for too long. That was my fault. Alright, well, he'll eventually wander back into his own pen. 